What's up, everybody? It's that bear guy from the internet. Um, got a Holtz Brooks. Holtz Brook. 24 inch camp axe. No, I don't know the model number. The internet's your friend. Well hung. Ha ha ha. Never used this before. I have a 20 inch camp axe that uh, rides around on my rucksack. Let's see what we got going on here. High carbon steel, little itty bitty bit of rust right there on the edge of the blade, cause that happens. Haven't sharpened it. Sharp enough to shave with? I don't know. Let's see. Mmm, no. Not as sharp as the other Holtz Brooks that I got my 20 inch. Could I dress that up? I definitely could. But why would I go shaving with an ax? I wouldn't. There's the profile of the blade. More of a chopping profile than a splitting profile, which is good. Let's see if it can do that. I present to you saplings. Well, that worked pretty good. Limbing, yep. There we go. How about some more limbing? There we go. Now we've got a clearish shot. It's raining, by the way. No duh there, no duh. Let's see. Let's see what this little axe can do. It's a little axe. This is maybe five inches in diameter. Chops pretty good. You guys want like a super duper close up zoomy thing of that? I bet you do. I bet you do. Let's try that again. Green privet. Trying to work around the, let's put you right here. The best shot, tremendous, believe it. If only we had an ax to take care of this massive, massive tree. Oh wait, it's just a sapling. Not left-handed. I'll tell you what, this is a little slick when it's wet, which it is, that's a poncho. This would be great although a little large for driving felling wedges. I like uh, flat back. As you can see again, the profile of the blade is for chopping, not for splitting. It'll work for splitting, but it will probably stick. Timber! It's 
pretty good little axe. I think these are about a hundred bucks shift directly from the heliport on Bezos's yacht. Holtzbrook. Like I said, I have the 20 inch, which is about this much shorter on the side of my rucksack. And I like it a lot. One and three quarter pounds, Swedish steel. There you go. Like so, Swedish version of hickory handle, whatever this is. See the direction of the grain and the handle. That's wonderful. Well hung, we want that. Great profile, just enough there, even with wet hands to hold on to as you're chopping. Good little axe, good little axe. Even with questionably subpar axe skills. Yeah, for sure. I would recommend having a little bit of a first aid kit with you. Just in case you suck with axes though. Recommend for sure. So, if you're in the market for a bushcraft axe, but you don't have hundreds of dollars to spend, you could spend a hundred bucks and get a Holtzbrook and be well served by it. I like it. It's awesome. Bless y'all. Shalom. Bonus footage. There we go. Not as easy to do with one hand while holding a wet iPhone as one might think. Yeah, come on, focus you dumb thing. The best bonus footage ever. Might not be shaving sharp, but it's shaving bark sharp. That's for sure. Awesome.